Hey everyone, Country here. We're gonna go over another game review today. Today we're doing Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice. Um, there might be some light spoilers. I try to avoid the best I can, um, but if you're trying to avoid any possible spoilers here, uh, I would recommend dipping now. Um, I'm gonna head to another screen. I'm gonna show some light gameplay. Uh, it shouldn't give away too much, um, but there will be some gameplay shown. So I'm gonna head over there now. First, uh, a little bit about uh, Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice. It is a psychological horror game. You're basically a Viking warrior that's battling psychosis. It's tough. It's it's a very deep story. Um, you spend a lot of the game trying to get back your your lover, your partner, um, and well, the entire time you're carrying around his head. You find that right away at the beginning. Um, and he's what you're trying to get back to. You're trying to you know bring him back basically. And that's what you spend a, pretty much the entire game doing. Like that, That's your goal. You're going to hell to bring him back. Um, the entire time you have people talking into your head. Uh, just like, you know, like someone battling psychosis might in, a, in real life. Um, it's, it's tough because a lot of the time they're telling you that you can't do this. You have to turn back. You know, you're not strong enough. You really have to push through that. It's, it sounds really good too. Like it, it sounds like someone's talking in your ear. Uh, a couple times throughout the game, I even turned around just to see what was going on. Uh, the game itself, though, really focuses on light puzzles. Um, what you're going to notice is a lot of the uh, the puzzles are, you get to a next section, the next area of the game, uh, you really have to focus on, uh, you'll, you'll go to a door, you'll get a couple of images, that they're like, they're basically letters, uh, and then you have to find them in the environment. You, know, you have to walk around, you have to manipulate the uh, the situation, uh, the different, you know, the, the different elements of the environment, and create those letters basically uh, and then once you find them all you get to go to the next section um the bosses are neat there wasn't anything you know really special about them they're each a little bit different kind of cool you know didn't really add or or take away anything from the game um, what i really loved though was the combat system it was fun it was original it was really good uh, i i absolutely loved it uh you can't run away you know there's no running from fights here uh, everything is is set in like a battleground stage. Uh, you can't even run around the map or the uh, you know the the, the small section. Uh, the best you can do is dodge, and that's not you know no no sprinting allowed. So it was cool. Uh, you really focus on someone, and you go you know you dig deep. You can focus, which is like basically like a superpower. You slow down time, and you can slash away. Um, but overall, really good there. Um, the story itself, like I said, absolutely incredible. Deep ending. I don't want to go into spoilers. But it's it's great. Like <laughs> it is incredible. I would highly recommend everyone play this game. It's not bad. It's not overly long. It takes about eight hours, start to finish. Um, there is a perma death situation where if you die too many times, the the rot that you get right away in the game is basically an illness. It crawls up your arm and it can kill you permanently, and you have to restart the entire game. Um, there's not too many situations where you even really really die. Like, there's not really the threat of that. So um, I think I ended up getting close, and that was because I had a couple of situations where uh, I died, like, twice doing the same thing. Um, but if you want to watch the entire playthroughs, I'll have those up on YouTube as well. Uh, just just watch for those if you if you want to watch the entire uh, gameplay. Uh, there's also Hellblade 2 coming out in late 2023, 2024. Super excited about that. Um, I, I can't wait for it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it right away. Uh, I'm, as soon as it's out, I'm ready. Uh, here's one thing I am going to show though, we're going to go in, this is, is from my stream when I when I played this game, um, it's a battle sequence near the end, it's not the very end, you know, I don't want to give away those spoilers, um, but it was just like a moment where in the game I was like, wow, this is this is just awesome, I, I love this game, um, it really made you feel like you were there, almost like it was in a movie, like, that's how, how well done it was, I'm going to show that, and then we'll be back with the final rating. I like this music too. The downside is it's so hard to fight with the, the music. That's like good music.
there's a lot of them is the issue here. Welcome back. As I said, beautiful game. Uh, it's a fun and different combat system. Short, sweet to the point. You know, there's not a lot of fluff. It's eight hours. You're there. You're in. You're out. Bam. It was good. If I had to pick a downside, the puzzles are repetitive, right? Like I said, you're picking letters. You find them in the environment. You go to the next area. Um, so a little bit repetitive there. I know there's a little bit. There's there's a couple of other um, puzzles situations too, but that's that's the main one. Um, overall, though, beautiful game. Great story. 9.7 highest score i've ever given and that's all i've got so thank you for watching have a good rest of your day and i hope you check back soon